A man from Bangor has created a new way to run grocery store refrigeration systems. His device is called the Flex Cube, and he hopes it will, it will revolutionize the supermarket industry. The new technology is making its debut at a grocery store next month. News Center Maine's Katie Delaney has more on how the invention can save energy and also cut costs for grocery stores. Inside the Bangor Innovation Center, inventor James Lebrecq has been developing the Flex Cube for the past 12 years, making innovations in grocery refrigeration. It's highly standardized and very simple to replace very large rooms of very complicated, very expensive, and uh, very energy intensive equipment that run big supermarkets. At only two by two feet, three to 12 flex cubes can run a grocery store's entire refrigeration system, as well as heat and cool a store. Reduce the maintenance, reducing design costs, installation costs, um, and maintenance costs. So that will all reduce grocery costs. Most supermarkets use hydrofluorocarbons as refrigerants, greenhouse gases that the EPA is trying to phase out. One pound of refrigerant leaking out is equal to 4,000 pounds of CO2 released into the air. The Flex Cube relies on A2Ls, refrigerants that are better for the environment. The A2L system will premiere at the Hunter's Shop and Save in Wolfboro, New Hampshire. The store was destroyed in a fire last year, but now they've rebuilt and are reopening on June 20th. Lebrecht says it will be the first entirely A2L store in the country. It's a huge cost savings. It's a real game changer for the supermarket industry. Hunter Shop and Save owner Dan Craffy says the FlexCube system is a third of the price of a standard refrigeration system and will cut his electricity bill in half. A grocery store takes about as much energy as a hospital to run. This grocery store is probably going to take as much energy as a house. The supermarket will even have enough extra heat produced by the FlexCube system to heat the Walgreens next door for free. Over the course of the life, it's going to save a lot. Quite a few millions. It's just amazing that this has been developed in the state of Maine and it's probably going to go worldwide very shortly. Lebrec says they're hoping to start production of the Flex Cube in January. In Bangor, Katie Delaney, News Center, Maine.